this just came in my P.O. box and I'm excited. Good day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Caitlin. I'm an American living in beautiful Sydney, Australia, and I've had a P.O. box for a little while. I've done a couple unboxings where people have sent me some absolutely incredible, thoughtful, kind gifts. And I got a notification not too long ago that I've actually had this in my P.O. box um, for probably about two weeks. It's taken me a little while to actually get to the post office to pick this up. But I want to say thank you so much to Mel. She's so kind. She sends me Instagram messages all the time. She's constantly on Discord giving me some of the best videos that I've seen about Australia for me to react to. I've learned so much from the videos she shared and she was kind enough to also send this. So Mel, before I even open this, I just want to say thank you so much. You are such an important part of this channel and I so greatly appreciate everything that you do. Without further ado, you guys, let's get to unboxing this massive, massive care package. That is so cool. So right off the bat, we have a couple of notes and some postcards from Queensland. Happy belated new year. I know it's already February, but I thought this box might inspire some plans to see more of this beautiful country. I picked up some brochures, maps, and booklets from a tourist center, mostly of far north Queensland and the Sunshine Coast, Fraser Coast, and Outback. I figure Gold Coast and Brisbane you probably know a bit about. There's a tip. Rex Airlines has cheap flights. Okay, Rex. I might have to give them a look. Regularly from Sydney to Brisbane and the Gold Coast, they also have cheaper versions of business class if you'd like to indulge. Bonza Airlines has super cheap flights from the Gold Coast and the Shanghai Coast to far north Queensland and the Whitsundays Coast. Okay, you said Whitsundays. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> They also have fares from Newcastle to the Gold Coast and Sunny Coast, and to Melbourne. They haven't yet secured space at Sydney Airport, unfortunately. Hopefully you can get away for a little trip there. I would love to. Guys, the Whitsundays has been on my bucket list for so long since I moved over here. It looks stunning. Like, it looks absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. I'm dying to get up there. Amel, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to have to check that out. I've never heard of Rex Airlines before. I've heard of Bonza. I didn't know they didn't fly out of Sydney though. I'm gonna have to give them a look. This is so cute from Brisbane. It's a little kitchen set and let me tell you, we need it. We have like oven mitts and stuff like that that are so old and falling apart. We could definitely use new ones. This is so cool though. You got the Brisbane skyline. You got the story bridge. You got a little ship on there. I love this. This is so sweet. Looks like it comes with a little apron, a little oven mitt, and then one of those like oven things that you'll rest. The hot plate on but i've always used as like a second oven mitt anyway but that is so cool oh we have a book here from caroline for once in my life sometimes love can show up in the most unexpected places <laughs> tell me about it i haven't read anything by this author yet but i saw it in target saw they were australian and thought you might enjoy oh thank you i'm oh, sorry carly lane not caroline for anyone interested in the book i will link her website down below she's written a ton of stuff you guys from the looks of it like Carly's a pretty prolific writer I'm pretty sure she probably does this full-time but yeah she's written quite a lot of books so all this at a thrift secondhand bookstore for 50 cents thought you might enjoy this looks so cool Jessica Watson true spirit the Aussie girl that took on the world I think this is about one of those Aussie women who's like sailed around the world and done like the full trip I'll have to double check but this book looks really cool if you've been watching this channel for a while you know I'm a writer I love I love books. I have a little bit of a, I don't want to say obsession, but I've got a decent-ish book collection since moving here. Okay, so I've got something bubble wrapped. So I'm going to take my time unwrapping this and um, yeah, I'll show you guys once it's unwrapped. Oh, I love this. Hopefully this, plan, hopefully this helps you plan and mark off some little Aussie adventures. How... Freaking sweet is this, you guys. I I love this. I'm obsessed with this. This is a cork board. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but this is a cork board and there's a little pin so you could put it all the places that you've been to in Australia. I love this. Oh my god, this is this is the coolest thing. I cannot wait to use this. This is going up here on the bookshelf somewhere. I will find a spot for this. Mel, thank you so much. This is like this is awesome. I love this. Like seriously, this is one of the coolest gifts I've ever gotten. We've got another postcard here from Radcliffe Peninsula, a popular seaside destination in the Morton Bay area. I love postcards, you guys. Like, these are so awesome. Guys. 
lorikeets. Okay, if you've been watching this channel again, you guys know my obsession with rainbow lorikeets. These are the most gorgeous birds I have ever seen. I'm obsessed. I love them. I can hear them tweeting outside right now. I just, oh my god, I love them. <laughs> I've got like so many amazing cool guidebooks in here. This is so cool. So we've got for the Sunshine Coast Insider's Guide. Like, just look at the back of that. You got sea life. This makes me want to go swimming. The Wit Sundays. Like I just said, I am in love. I want to go. Brisbane Living Heritage. The Heritage Guide. That would be really, really cool for any history buffs out there. Mel, this is unreal. <laughs> Seriously. So Australia Zoo. I didn't know that that was up in Queensland. I do want to visit that at some point. I think it would be cool to see. It's like, as a kid, I think most American kids know who Steve Irwin was. A lot of us grew up on him. I say kids, meanwhile, I'm in my 30s, but when we were kids, we grew up with Steve Irwin. There we go, from the Morton Bay area. We got Castaway Coast, a great Queensland drives touring map. This, this might be Mark Sally. <laughs> he might actually think it was pretty awesome. I would love to get up to Queensland sometime soon. So going to Melbourne this year, I'd love to do Queensland at some point and like spend a week or two up there visiting some really, really popular places. I would love to, and now that I know that there are cheaper airlines, I might be doing that a little bit sooner. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. We got a magnet, and it says the temperature in it, Brisbane, Australia. That is awesome. And of course, it's in Celsius and Fahrenheit, so I can read it either way. Um, I, what? I have not seen these before. So here we've got Lamington Slice Cadbury Dairy Milk. And we've got Twirl Iced Latte. You guys know my obsession with coffee. I have a coffee tattoo. I have not seen these before, but oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I cannot wait to try this. I'm gonna have to try these on camera. I'll film a YouTube short and put it up for you guys to see. This is, ah, I can't wait to try these. But you can tell it's Easter time at the time I'm filming this because little Easter egg chocolates like this are so popular over here, way more than they are in the States, I gotta say. This, I don't know if it's like an Aussie thing or an English thing or something, Definitely more popular in Australia than in the States. And here we have Cocoa Pops Easter eggs. I love Cocoa Pop cereal. I'm a kid at heart. I have a kid's palate. I know I'm terrible with it. And I have the world's worst sweet tooth to chop it off. So these are going to be amazing. I can already tell these look so good. And we've got more Easter eggs. Oreo Easter eggs, you guys. Oreo Easter eggs. Ah, okay, these and there's Oreo cream inside. Oh um, my gosh, I cannot wait to dig into these. Uh, my dentist is going to love you, Mel. <laughs> Thank you so much. We've got a couple more brochures here. This is for Noosa National Park and Black All Range. I've never heard of either. I've never heard of this. I've heard of Noosa. I didn't know there was a national park in Noosa. And oh my god, these books are huge, but they are so cool. We've got the Tangaluma Island Resort, which I think is in the Whitsundays. Oh, Morton Island. How cool is that? Like shipwrecks and stuff like that there. That just... That looks like such an amazing week's vacation. <laughs> Holiday, sorry, American words are coming out. A Fraser Coast. Australia's Dinosaur Trail, that is awesome. If you've got little kids who love dinosaurs, that would be such a cool trip for them. So drive Queensland, so four by four, four wheel driving, four B. Never know how to say that correctly. I think it's Forby. Um, but yeah, that actually looks like so much fun. And North Stratbroke Island. I've never heard of that before, but the pictures are gorgeous. Oh, this is such a cute coaster. It's a little koala. Too glam to give a damn. Oh, that is so cute. I think we're going to put this at my desk. I, should I put it up here somewhere? I don't know. I This is so cute. We've got the Pine Reserves Koala Care Association. Oh, it's a little notepad, you guys, with a little matching pen. That is adorable. Oh, I love this little wildlife rescue. You guys know I have a soft spot for koalas. I really do. And the last little thing in here, saw these and they immediately reminded me of your new tattoo. I don't know if there's a way for me to take this off without ripping the note, so sorry, Mel. Brochures. I can do this with my nails. This is why I don't cut my nails too, too short. And pop the little cork off. Oh, guys, how cute are these? They're the little coffee cup latte earrings. Oh my god, I love these. They're so tiny, too. Like, these are some of the smallest earrings I've ever had. I love these. These are 
so incredibly cute and sweet oh my god mel thank you that is so incredibly thoughtful i am i'm blown away mel thank you so much that is one of the most heartfelt sweetest care packages that anybody has ever sent me I cannot wait to see the brochures. I cannot wait to get into this and maybe start planning a trip up to Queensland soon. I would absolutely love to do that. Thank you so, so incredibly much. You are one of the kindest people I've met since moving over here. Everybody give your love to Mel in the comments. She is an absolute sweetheart. She comments and likes on all these videos. She's always on Discord. Thank you so, so much. So that's it for this unboxing video, you guys. If you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate the support from all of you guys here on this channel. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I cannot tell you just how much it really does help me out in the algorithm, how much it pushes these videos out to new subscribers, and we can really grow this Amer Australian family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. Special thanks to Mel again, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.